What's going on, Norcross? Another live beer review here on Norcross Patch. And today, we have a very special environmental selection for you. Uh, to us today, we're going to look at Sweetwater's new Waterkeeper Hefeweizen. Uh, this is a brand new release from our favorite local brewery, and it's actually to raise awareness for the Waterkeeper Association. Uh, several years ago, Sweetwater sort of to, to, to sort of the Save the Hooch campaign in order to bring awareness and conservation needs to the Chattahoochee River, which supplies a lot of Atlanta with its drinking water and all of the great water that goes into Sweetwater beer. Uh, to date, they've raised over a quarter of a million dollars in order to preserve the Chattahoochee, and now they've released a new limited edition beer to raise awareness to the Waterkeeper uh, 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 cause in general to preserve America's great rivers. So. Let's go ahead and check it out. Just came out two weeks ago. Uh, it is part of Sweetwater's limited Dank Tank series. Right? Just like Mean Joe Bean you might have heard of before. Uh, so it is hard to find. It will not be out long. But feel free to get it now. It is a Hefeweizen. You might remember a few editions ago we did Weinstefaner Hefeweizen, which is a German style of origin. And this is going to be along the same lines. So. We got our Weizen glass, as typical with the Hefeweizen, a big uh, uh, head forms from the high wheat content. Very common. Two kinds of hops used in this, Hallertau and Sterling hops, and this comes in at 5.7% alcohol by volume, so it's a good, light, warm weather beer. Typically tends to be very refreshing and good for, for great summer days like this. Nice light aroma, a little bit of banana, a little bit of clove, very characteristic of a German Hefeweizen. A little spicy to the rivers. Hmm, nice and light, a little less spicy than most German Hefeweizen, like Weistefaner that we talked about a second ago. Definitely refreshing, maybe just a hint of vanilla at the end. It's good, not overly spicy like I said, unlike other ones, but you do get those little bit of banana notes, clove notes, vanilla at the end, etc. So definitely a good beer, and it is refreshing, which is good because it is hot. I am sweating, not sure if you can see that on camera, but probably best if you don't, so that's good. Not bad at all, not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and give this a B. It's not overly flavorful, but it is nice and refreshing, like I said. It does its job. Uh, so if you want to pick one of these up, Go ahead and get on down to Tower in Doraville, Tower Beverage, or also World Beverage on Peachtree Industrial as well. Also, if you stop by the Iron Horse Tavern in downtown Norcross, you can donate anywhere from a dollar up to the Sweetwater Save the Hooch campaign to benefit our favorite local Atlanta river. So, make sure to do that, because if we don't take care of our rivers, we're going to end up with dried lakes just like this. And if that happens, what will happen to our children? Thank you.